Good morning. How are you this morning? I'm sticking to the book. That's how hot I am. <laughs> what color would you pick? I would pick turquoise. Did you see that? Turquoise, sorry, that was really fast. Let's see. What is the date today? If we were at school, we would see a basketball with this. Because some students have basketball Tuesday nights when it's not COVID. And there is our number for today. 26. So it is Tuesday the 26th. And do you know what month it is? January, February, March, April. May and the year 2020. Yep. Good job. And what's the weather like outside? I'm looking out my window and it's sunny. I'm happy it's sunny. Let's take a look at the weather online. And it says it's sunny. And look at the temperature already. It's going to be hot today. 26 degrees. Woo! That's hot. Meaford, sunny. And 24. And it looks like they're taking away all the thunderstorms we're supposed to get. So now it's just rain which is nice. Okay, so another hot sunny day. Oh, my plants love this weather. They're just growing so fast. I'll have to show you sometime. In the news, Trudeau is making sure that there's going to be lots of protective, personal protective equipment. He's ordering more. And he is also fighting for paid sick days for government employees and other um, people that are in the workforce. I think he's wanting 10 or 11 paid sick days. So that way when people are sick, they can stay home and they don't have to feel that they have to go into work so that they can have food on their table. Ford wants everyone to stay um Oh, to get tested. Sorry, I was going to say stay home. No, he wants everyone to get tested. And he says, we've got the test, so let's test people. And he's wanting all the people that were at Trinity Bellwood Park over the weekend in Toronto to get tested. Because there was over 10,000 people all in this park. And they were not social distancing. So he would like them to all get tested. I'm not sure if they will, but that's what he would like. Some good news. The Canadian Screen Awards were held virtually last night. And I guess it went very well. And some people were saying that that was a very good way to do it. Uh, there was a picture on the news this morning of a bear roaming a neighborhood. It was a baby bear. And they are having animal issues because there's no restaurants and there's not as much trash. Animals are looking for food. And rats, I guess, in the United States are becoming a real problem in the residential areas. So they're looking for food. The NHL is hoping to return to the ice in the summer. So that would be cool. Maybe they would videotape it and let people watch them even practice. That'd be fun. Okay, the comic. Charlie Brown. Where were we lost last with Charlie Brown? <laughs> this is cute. Okay, so Charlie Brown notices something on the, on the ground. 
What's this? That little that little redheaded girl dropped her pencil. E. Gee, it's got teeth marks all over it. She nibbles on her pencil? She's human. <laughs> so she has a little habit of biting on her pencil and Charlie Brown just thinks that's cute. Charlie Brown. Okay, the item yesterday was this. Do you know what this is? Deodorant. It smells nice. And you put it on your skin under your arms. And it helps you smell good. And when we're in close proximity in the house, we want to smell nice. So make sure you're using your deodorant. Today's item is this. I'm sure you guys know what this is. Are you using it? Something that you can do once you get up. Okay, I'll tell you tomorrow what this is. I think you know what it is. <laughs> okay, and our sound. Do you know what that is? Ollie, come on, let's go. Okay, so yesterday I took Ollie to the dog park. Water, or not the dog park, that's not open. The water where the dogs are allowed to go in the water. And there were no signs saying that dogs couldn't go in or there's no barriers so I let her go in but then when we I saw further down there was a closed sign so I was like oh there's a siren a police siren oh that's not for us is it did someone call because we were sitting on the beach <laughs> it was not for us it was something else so so Ollie got to go to the beach yesterday for just a little bit, just so she could get cooled down because she was hot. So there you go. Be careful if you go to the place where you're not supposed to because the police might come and question you. Okay, the life skill. So yesterday we were talking about the traffic light. and the colors. Today we're going to talk about these symbols. Okay, so there's two symbols there. One is a hand and one is a person walking. So if the hand is lit up, what do you do? That's right, you stop. And if the walker is walking, what do you do? You get to walk, correct. So the hand goes with what color? What color means stop? Red. And what color means go? Green. Great, good job. So, that's what you would be practicing. So here it is when it's just this symbol. So you can very clearly see it's walk. And this one you can very clearly see it's the hand and it's saying stop. Now with that, with the hand, sometimes it might have numbers and the numbers are counting down 
and that's sort of when it's a yellow maybe and you only have so many seconds to get across the road sometimes they do that in cities where it's like really like long it's a long walk and there might be like many lanes that you have to cross over so we can practice that when we go on walks you can see where there is a red light or a green light and if there is a hand or a stop or a person walking so red means stop green means go hand means stop walk means go yeah so you can practice that when you go out on a walk and you have a traffic light that you have to get through Okay, and we're going to go to the zoo today. And this is our animal. I think you might know this one. Because they're in our area. Do you know what those are? Those are otters. So let's read about the otter. A characteristic of amphibious mammals is the thick and lustrous fur. The under fur is short, dense, and soft, intermittent with long guard hair, which are glossy and dark brown, usually paler on the upper parts. The long tactile hairs and the, th and the throat hairs are a silvery gray. The winter fur is essentially the same as the summer fur. Well adapted to life in the water, the otter's body is long and streamlined. From the bulbous nose pads to the long tapered tail, the body is elongated as well as being solid and muscular. The comparatively small head is broad and distinctly flattened. The ears are small and may be closed underwater. That's cool. They won't get water in their ear. The eyes are also small and somewhat placed far apart. The neck is scarce, scarcely narrower than the head and very muscular. The tail is also very thick and muscular and is about one third the total length of the otter. It has short, powerful legs and the feet being large and broad with webbed toes. The claws are short. In adult otters, the male average is about 1% larger than the female. The length of an adult is 90 to 120 centimeters, so the size of a meter stick. The tail is 30 to 47 centimeters, so quite long. And they weigh about 6.8 to 9 kilograms, so like two bags of potato? That's pretty heavy. They are muscular. The otter is amphibious and prefers to spend its life chiefly along rivers, larger creeks, and lakes. Their diet is a variety, varied diet, but feeds almost exclusively on animal matter, chiefly aquatic. Minnows, sunfish, trout, catfish, perch, and other fish are caught by direct pursuit and taken to dry land to eat. Frogs, mud pies, crayfish, and clams are also eaten, as well as water beetles, water bugs, flies, and other insects. Rarely, they might eat a young beaver or a duck. So, but that's on a rare occasion. Their threat to survival. They are actually hunted for their fur. Hmm. A population of rivers and streams pro produces loss of habitat. So pollution of rivers. Um, other humans, the otter, other than humans, the otter has very few serious enemies. Possibly a bobcat, coyote, great owl, Great horned owl or bald eagle may attempt to catch an otter kit, so the young, but the young are carefully guarded by their mom. So there you go.
They're very cute. Aren't they cute? Look at that. They're very playful too. When we were at the zoo, they were very playful. Okay, so there we are for, at the Toronto Zoo in the Americas, and it's the otter, the North American River Otter. Okay, and our exercise today, we're continuing with our legs. And I'll just move that so you can see my feet. Okay, so we have two stretches. We're going to do a side lunge. So you're going to step out and keep one leg straight. We've done this one before. And then you can go to the middle and then bend the opposite leg. You can feel that stretch in the center or in the inside. And you can just do that 10 times and you can hold it 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and the second one is called a leg deadlift. So you have to balance on one leg and then touch the floor. There you go. And then do the other leg. Once you get your hands on the floor, it's not so bad. But it is a balancing act to get your to get down to the floor. So there's two more um, leg exercises: the side lunge and the deadlift. Okay. And you can also continue on with your other leg exercises. Yesterday we did the curtsy and kneeling to standing. So that's four now that you have. The curtsy, like bell curtsying, the knee to stand, the side lunge, and the single leg deadlift. Oh, your legs are going to be so strong just in time for shorts weather. <laughs> and do you see the lantern today? Whoops. It's right there. It's hanging on a hook. Okay. I hope you have a good day today. As you can see the glow on my face, it is warm, so make sure you're hydrating and getting lots of water and taking care of when you're going to go outside. And if you go outside, make sure you have some sunscreen or a hat on to protect your skin. And I miss you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.